So I'd like to describe for you the full tummy tuck procedure. Remember that the full tummy tuck procedure is indicated for somebody that essentially has changes both below and above their belly button. So let me show you. So just for orientation, this is the pubic area, this is the belly button, and these are the ribs. And this is obviously not necessarily to scale. Now, I talked about the incision in the general overview. We put the incision very, very low, just above the pubic area, okay? If you have a cesarean scar, let's say that this is your cesarean scar, we'll put the incision below that so that your cesarean scar is removed. The incision for a full tummy tuck generally does go, quote, hip to hip. From above the pubic area, it will angle slightly upwards in the groin crease, you know, generally almost one side to the other. I then go down to the muscles and I'm gonna lift all the skin and the fat off the muscles all the way up to the ribs. We're then going to pull all the extra skin and fat down and remove the extra. And in a full tummy tuck, the idea is to remove everything up to and above the belly button. Something like that. So all of this here, skin, fat, stretch marks, goes. Now you can see that the belly button is sitting in the middle of this triangle. We don't want to throw away the belly button. So what we do is I will make an incision around your belly button. I'll leave it there. We'll take away the rest of this skin and fat. And then this edge here is going to be pulled all the way down to here. So the skin that's up here above your belly button is going to get stretched all the way down to the pubic area. Therefore, the skin here is going to be covering your belly button for the time being. And what I need to do is make a new opening for the belly button. And in a woman, I try to make it a little bit of a vertical ellipse. Okay, I find that that's more youthful looking and it looks better than you know a big round belly button or you know a belly button that's sort of horizontal. Next step in the procedure is to deal with the muscles. So the muscles are often spread apart like this. spread apart and what I can do is suture the muscles back together and this is going to help flatten the tummy and pull in the sides a little bit in a full tummy tuck we not only do that below the belly button but we also do it above the belly button as well finally I'm going to do some liposuction. We'll do some liposuction on the sides here, going around the sides. This is the love handles or the dreaded muffin top. We're going to go after those. And then I will usually do some liposuction of what's left behind, what's still left here. And the reason for this is, remember how I said that this skin edge here is gonna be pulled down to this skin edge down there. If you pinch yourself next to the belly button in this area, you're gonna see that the skin is very, very thick. 
And if you pinch yourself down here next to the pubic area, you'll see that it's very, very thin. So if we don't thin out this upper area with the liposuction, often what you'll see if you look at a person from the side is their stomach is flat, and when you get to the incision, there's a little jog in like that. And this is where the incision is. It kind of defeats the purpose of the tummy tuck. You know, we want it to be flush, and here's the incision there. So that's the reason for the liposuction there.